Okay, so I'm going to show you how to inoculate a broth culture starting with a colony on a petri dish. Okay, so broth culture is just a liquid culture of bacteria in a test tube. So this is R2A broth uh, in a little test tube. So you can see I've got my workspace set up. I've got a Bunsen burner creating magic force field of sterility around my, uh, my workspace. I have an inoculating loop over here. Right. The inoculating loop. There it is. Um, and I've got a plate that's already got some bacteria growing on it, so you can see there's individual colonies on here. And this is sterile R2A broth. So this really is an easy process, right? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my loop, I'm going to flame it, holding it downwards at a 45 degree angle until it's red hot. I give it a count of 10 to cool off so I don't kill all of my bacteria. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now I'm going to pick one colony off of this plate and I'm just going to lightly touch it with the loop. I don't need much material at all. Alright, now I'm going to take off the cap of the tube and hold it between two of my fingers. And with my thumb and my other fingers I'm going to hold it and pass it through the flame. Then uh, 45 degree angle, I'm just going to stick my loop in there and jiggle it around a bit, flame the tube again, put the cap back, and there you go. Easy peasy. I'm going to flame this to kill off any bacteria that are on it. So really the only challenging part of this process is the little magic of getting the cap on and off with one hand. So. A good thing to do the first couple of days that you're working in the lab is to get some test tubes and kind of practice doing this a few times, right? It takes a little bit of, of effort, but once you've got the hang of it, it'll come second nature to you. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to inoculate a broth culture from another broth culture, okay? So you can do this with, a, with an inoculating loop if you want to, but it's a little bit more precise if you do it with a micro pipetter. All right, so what I've got here is I've got uh, my workspace set up, I've got my Bunsen burner with its magical shell of sterility. I have a test tube rack containing a fully grown overnight culture and also a sterile tube of R2A broth. I've also got a vortex mixer, which I'm gonna set to relatively high speed such that it comes on when I touch it. I've got a box of pipette tips, which I'm gonna open up but only within the sort of zone of influence of the Bunsen burner. I've got a P200 micro pipetter. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to set the pipetter to 100 microliters, okay? Then I'm gonna get myself a pipette tip, and I'm gonna take my culture, and I'm gonna briefly vortex it to make sure that it's resuspended. So a lot of times overnight, uh, bacteria will settle out at the bottom of a tube, so we can vortex them to kind of get them up uh, back into the solution. I'm going to, with two of my fingers, take the cap off, pass it briefly through the flame, then holding it at a 45 degree angle, I'm going to lower my pipette tip just underneath the level of the medium, and slowly release the plunger, and collect my, uh, my culture. Now I'm going to take my fresh tube, do the same thing, pass it through the flame, and there you go. All right, and then if you want to, you can also vortex the, the fresh culture. And when you're done, you're going to have a waste container for your pipette tips. I'm just going to go over here. I've got my little ejector button. Bam. It's gone. Ready for the next culture. 